pictures. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to create an abstract design like this using the new pattern, scripted patterns feature. Uh, to start this design, I'm actually just going to go over to just going to select that. And first things first, I'm actually going to create a selection for design. I use a gradient in the actual creation. Just going to go here, the gradient tool. But before I actually do that, I'm actually applying this on a new layer so if you want to just create a new layer and then there's actually some transparency in this gradient so I'll just click on there you can see the gradient it's just a base very basic gradient with some transparency so transparency there and some color at the end black and obviously blue so just apply it using the reflected option and just hold down the shift so it's actually just straight across and there you have got a sort of basic pattern design. I'm just going to now go and define. So remove the background. Now go to edit, define pattern, click OK. Now go back to this and I'm just going to remove that. And now once I've actually done that, I actually go to edit and fill. And I select the pattern option. Now this is with 14.2 is this new feature and just select the actual gradient I've just created and select the random fill option with the scripted patterns set that to be on. Click OK. Once you've actually done that you can actually see a number of options all the dialogues well all the fill commands now are the scripted patterns come up with a dialogue so you can now modify them to your heart's content so you can just go change the density also modify the scaling factor now as long as the design the actual pattern is fairly small this preview sort of matches exactly the design that you actually get if you've got sort of like a very very large pattern it doesn't always match exactly so modify the color randomness if you wish and sort of make a but I'm not going to go for that I'm just going to rotate the pattern as well click OK now quickly creates this design and now just go over to the filter and all paint now it's one filter I really like and it's one that really creates a nice smearing effect especially if you set all the various settings to the maximum stylization cleanliness push the others back and shine down to zero now Click OK, back apply again. And if you want to actually tweak that up a bit, which I always think works a little, the oil paint seems to have a tendency to make it a bit dark. So click OK. Right, there you have it. Quick and unusual pattern design, certainly more slightly different from the usual pattern designs that uh, you can create with earlier versions of Photoshop. Anyway, like I said, this is 14.2. I hope you found this of interest.